We will respond to the threat of climate change. We? Who's this we? Pale face. We will respond to climate change? You know, in 1956, Commander Roger Revelle told the United States Congress in a special hearing that human-caused climate change was and will be a serious threat to national security. Over 50 years ago, the United States Congress has been told over and over and over again that human-caused climate change is a fucking serious problem. We... You mean the United States Congress needs to do something and the United States citizens need to tell them they need to do something. We, we. Knowing that the failure to do so would betray our children and future generations. A politician who cares about people who aren't voting yet? Who is this really? Some may still deny the overwhelming judgment of science. There are two chief reasons why people still deny the evidence that shows human-caused climate change has happened and is happening. Link down below for some uh, references to the fact that deniers of the evidence for human-caused climate change tend to fall into two groups. One, free market fundamentalism ideology, that is, free markets let corporations do what they want to their customers regardless of the negative consequences. And the second one, conspiracy theory mongerings who feel special and elitist when they insist that they're too bright to be deceived by the man that is the government that is all of the world scientists. Actual figures. Since year 1991, I believe it was, 13,926 peer-reviewed science papers were published in science journals, 24 of which reject the scientific consensus regarding human-caused climate change. Link down there. In my crotch. Hi, Genie Pup. You're a good dog, Genie Pup. But you are also a pain in the butt because I need both hands. But none can avoid the devastating impact of raging fires and crippling drought and more powerful storms. That claim, of course, is absolutely false and ridiculously, obviously false. The fabulously wealthy can avoid those things, and they do. The path towards sustainable energy sources will be long and sometimes difficult. No, it won't. United States Geological Survey recently did a geothermal survey of the continental contiguous United States, and they determined there is enough geothermal energy to supply 80% of the United States' energy needs, and they can do that within 15 years. Not difficult. Technology already exists. All we need to do is get fucking Congress off of its fucking fat, lazy, do-nothing ass and mandate it. <sighs> but America cannot resist this transition. We must lead it. Suddenly, it's the United States has to do this. Almost 60 years, scientists have been warning the United States Congress, we got to do something. President Obama is almost silent on human-caused climate change for four years. He mentioned it in his first election campaign that human-caused climate change was a serious crisis. The United States has to do something about it. Gets, got elected, four years, almost complete silence on that. In the previous election, his re-election campaign, I think he said 12 words about climate change in the entire campaign to get re-elected. Suddenly he remembered once again, hey, human-caused climate change, that's a problem. Why does America have to suddenly lead the rest of the world? You know, Germany is producing far more electricity through photovoltaic panels on top of people's houses 
that they have no idea what to do with all that energy. The grid in Germany can't handle that. So they have to not use the electricity that is being produced by the photovoltaic cells. Why didn't the United States start doing that decades ago? Suddenly, suddenly, the United States has to lead the rest of the world? <sighs> no. It's okay to follow. We cannot cede to other nations the technology that will power new jobs and new industries. We must claim its promise. What? We can't cede technology and jobs to other countries? Are you fucking kidding me? Take a look, President Obama, on the stamp on the microphone that you are talking into. Made in China. Take a look at your computers. Were they made in America? Chances are, no. Take a look at your webcams, your lamps, your, your fucking light bulbs, your cars. Can't seed technology and jobs to other countries. Good fucking grief. That's how we will maintain our economic vitality and our national treasure. What economy? What national treasure? Fifteen trillion dollars in debt? The gross national product is just paying for the interest on that debt? What? Our forests and waterways our croplands and snow-capped peaks. I'm glad he didn't also mention our amber waves of grain. You know, I wouldn't because I'm just too real for that. That is how we will preserve our planet. The planet is in no threat. It's just the life forms on top of the planet. The planet will do just fine without us. Commanded to our care by God. No, commanded to your care, President Obama, comma, by God, not commanded by any God, commanded by the United States citizenry, not any gods.